But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust consumes, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Have the children come forward, please. Okay, uh, children, do you remember that when I did this, do you remember what that meant? Whenever I was walking out like this, does anybody remember? No? <laughs> remember I said, uh, there was a, I pretended that there was a saint next to me and I would walk with the saint. Do you remember? The answer is yes or no. There's no wells, there's no nothing. <laughs> now you remember. Okay, thank you. All right. Well, today the saint is Saint Evdokia. Saint Evdokia, March 1st. I love this woman. She was extremely beautiful, not just beautiful, over the top beautiful. And um, so that's why I like having her with me today. No. <laughs> Because she's a saint, that's why. But um, it's so interesting. It seems to me the saints who are invisible. And once in a while, they break through into your life and let you know that they're there. I remember Saint Minad did that. He's a saint back in the corner there. Uh, saint Nicholas does it many times for me. St. Padaskevi does it, but, but one day about uh, this day, March 1st, about, I don't know, maybe six, five, six years ago or something, St. Evdokia, who I never even heard of, I didn't even hear of this woman, and I was teaching the ladies in a, son, in a class, and I asked, have any of you ever heard of St. Evdokia? No, 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 no. Father Michael, who was with me, I asked him, Father Michael, have you ever heard of St. Evdokia? No. Have you ever known anybody named Evdokia? No, 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 no. I didn't either. Father Michael didn't either. As soon as the class was over, I went to a donut shop with Father Michael. If you want to prove this, you can ask him. We go there. The woman who is serving us donuts was Greek. Guess what her name was? Evdokia, yes, I can't believe it. Five minutes later, I walk out of the store and I see this other woman coming up. And I don't know, we got in a conversation, Father Michael and I, and, and I said, what is your name? She goes, guess what? Evdokia, I couldn't believe it. It was amazing. Sometimes these saints, they just break through into your life just to let you know that they're there. So it's today is Saint Evdokia Day today. Here she is. Say hello to the children, Saint Evdokia. Do you know, do you, know you don't see her? Okay. Um, do, you, do you know what her name means? Evdokia. Goodwill. Goodwill. I love that name. If I ever have another daughter, I'm going to name her Evdokia, but I'm not going to have another daughter. But anyway, um, so have you ever lost anything important? 
You have, uh, what did you lose that was important? Uh, a family member. A family member. Oh, yes. Yes. What, uh, what else? What else, son? Uh, a, pet. a pet. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Your favorite stuffed animal, yes. Your pet, yeah. A toy, sure, sure. Homework, now that's a good thing to learn. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that's a... Anyway, did you ever find anything after you lost something important? You did. How did you feel when you found it? Happy, yes, yes. Enjoyable, yes, son, absolutely, yes. Relieved, absolutely, yes, yes, yes. I remember losing my, someone mentioned a pet, a dog. I lost my dog when I was a little young, about your age. And I was devastated. I love this dog. And then we found her. And oh boy, enjoyable and all the things you said, happy, relieved and everything. It was just beautiful. Well, today we're celebrating or we're commemorating someone who lost the most important thing you can ever lose. His faith, his ability to communicate with God. It, something happened where he, it, do you know his name? He was in the Garden of Eden. Do you know his name? Adam, excellent, excellent, yes, Adam. And he did one sin and it caused him to have this beautiful relationship he had with God, he lost it. He lost it, and he lost paradise, the Garden of Eden. He had to leave the Garden of Eden, and he was outside the garden, and he lost it. And he was sitting there looking at the garden, and he was praying and begging, and he was moaning, and he said, oh, garden. He was actually asking the garden as if the garden was a person, and say, oh, garden, please let your leaves, you know when the air goes through the leaves, it makes a sound, it makes a rustling sound? He was saying, let that be your voice. Let the rustling of your leaves pray for me, and guess why I'm wearing these robes today? Because it's got the leaves. Adam, yeah. And you're not going to see these robes Again, because we're about to enter, do you know what period we're about to enter? Lent, excellent, excellent. And so this Lenten period is a period where we have lost that communication with God and we're trying to get back to paradise. One of the ways, one of the things to get back to paradise, do you know what, you know, with what we do in Lent typically? Fast. Yes. We, we strict our diets a little bit. Yes. Yes. Yes, we do it so we can pray more to God. Because if we are so filled with stuff, unnecessary food, you know, the things of the world, we just saturate ourselves with the things of the world. Too much TV, too much entertainment, too much food. You can't pray. You, your mind is distracted. You cannot sit still. You're a mess. That's why we have Lent. And you're going to see these. When do you think you're going to see these again? Easter, right? And you know when? In 40 days, yes. On Holy Friday night, you're going to see these again. Watch it. Watch for it. Because Adam is about to be let back into paradise. The leaves answered his prayer. They prayed for Adam. God answered his prayer, but they prayed. Okay, so you're going to see these on Holy Friday. If you see me and you don't see these things on Friday, you're going, you can feel free to come into the altar and say, Father, where is your robe? You said, okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yes, sir, do you have a thought? What did the leaves answer him? You'll find out Friday night, Holy Friday. God bless you.